What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we're gonna be reviewing the all new Storm Supernova. So make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Then if you like this Coolwick jersey or any of the jerseys in any of my videos, coolwick.com, use my promo code NAPOLIS10 and that'll get you 10% off your entire order. And then down below in the description, there should be a link where you can order a Supernova or anything bowling related. That is the absolute best way and a direct way to help support the channel. All right. So let's talk a little bit about the tech behind the Supernova. It features the same ignition weight block that was featured in the original Nova, which in 15 pounds has an RG of 2.49, a max differential of 0.052, and a PSA of 0.019. So it's gonna be a very early, rolling, strong engine that drives this bowling ball. And the flare potential is gonna be significantly high. And then wrapped around that ignition weight block is gonna be the NEX solid cover stock that comes out of box at a 2000 grip finish. And then the layout on this one, just like always in all my asymmetrical bowling balls, is 30 by four and a half by 30. What I'm expecting out of this bowling ball is a shape that's going to be very, very early but based on some of the videos I've already seen on this, I'm expecting it to shape a little bit. So what I am thinking is that it's gonna be something like a gem, but maybe not as early and then shape a little bit more. When I look at the colors, it has a lot of like Marvel-esque characteristics to it, like the color scheme. And if it rolls anything anywhere near a Marvel S, this ball is gonna be an absolute home run. And then just cause everyone's always asking, the scent on this bowling ball is fruit pop. And then the release date is September 23rd. So we're gonna be here at South Point on lane one on a fresh typical house shot. So let me know down below in the comments what your favorite asymmetrical solid is. And if you're excited for this storm supernova. And then also go ahead and let me know in the comments what comparisons you want to see done to this supernova. For sure, for sure, I am gonna compare it to the Nova just because they share the same core. So I'll see you guys here on the lanes. All right, first shot here with the Supernova. We're gonna start a little bit straighter and then work our way in. I was told that the new house shot here is 43 feet. That's a good start. I'm actually gonna move right off that shot just to try to make it a little bit more flush. And if it goes too high, then we'll move back in a little. See how that looks. All right, so it's not as early as I was expecting, at least to start. But like I said, this is a new little house shot here. Oh, that's a good shot there. Yeah, I like that I'm able to start a little bit straighter. And then as soon as it starts hooking like crazy, like I said, we'll just start chasing it in. Yeah, I know I keep harping on this, but I can't even remember the last time I was able to play straight here at South Point with balls, especially this strong. Hook a lot. Oh, this ball. So, I mean, so far what I like about this ball is that it's early, yes, but it doesn't want to roll dead forward in the back part of the lane. It's early and wants to be continuous, which is a good combination to have. Missed in there. Yeah, that's a terrible shot. Yeah, so a big thing here, guys, is that a bowling ball cannot be forward and continuous. So let's keep that in mind here. Oh! Yeah, very, very continuous. But, I mean, it's two shots in a row that I missed in. So let's make sure I get this one going a little bit further right. Kind of like there. There we go. And then like another really big thing, guys, is that because of the nature of this bowling ball, this isn't a ball that we're gonna try to play fifth arrow with. Big ace and solid, control the lanes on the fresh. So I mean, right now, I don't even care how this ball's gonna look when I start chasing it left, because on the fresh, it's fantastic. So much control, continuation. All right, two more shots from here, and then we will start to chase it in and see. That was a better shot. All right, last shot from here, and we will talk about our first impressions of this ball. Oh, 
All right, so we just got done with the first 12 shots with the all new Supernova, and my first impressions are a very good one. I was hoping that the ball wouldn't be as early as the gem, and that gets checked off. It's nowhere near as early. It's a little bit cleaner, still early in the grand scheme of things, though. Don't, don't, I'm not saying that it's clean through the front or anything like that. So it's still early, but a little bit cleaner than the gem. And what I like is that while the gem for me is a little bit more forward off the back part of the lane, this one is being a little bit more continuous off the back part of the lane. And if I can think of a ball that it reminds me of, I'm thinking of like, think of like a stronger Alpha Crux. Think of like a stronger reality. Actually, the reality might be the best one because the reality is one of those asymmetrical solids that is pretty early, very continuous. This seems like it's a little bit earlier than the reality, a little bit stronger than the reality, and just a little bit more shape down lane than the reality. And so far, it's a really good thing. On the fresh, the control that this ball offers is pretty fantastic so far. Now I'm going to chase it left. And we're chasing it left to see the versatility factor of this bowling ball. All right, so we're going to move like five or six left here. See how this ball handles a little bit more angle through the front to see. Get there. There we go. Yeah, so this ball is definitely strong enough to handle that oil in the middle part of the line. So let's stay here for a couple more shots. So I think I still prefer this from a little straighter, but it doesn't look all that bad when I have to move in like this. So I think if you're someone who's a speed dominant bowler, I think you're gonna love something like this. Missed in a little bit and it's not gonna push. No chance at pushing. I throw a couple more from here and then I still wanna move back right because I think that's just where it looks better. So we're gonna move back right here to see, because I think this is just still where it looks the best from. So that flat 10 is actually a good sign. I'm gonna move right a little bit, straighten up, and see how this looks here. Message. All right, guys. Well, I apologize for these audio issues. I'm having my microphone died in the middle of me recording, and I'm not going to go back and reshoot all this footage just because my microphone died. So I'm just going to give you guys a little voiceover work here, basically into what I'm seeing and what I expect this bowling ball to do. I start out playing here a little bit straighter, then I move into the oil a little bit and kind of just chase it all the way around. And then towards the end of this, you're actually going to see my buddy Chris throw a few shots with the supernova as well so that you guys can see a little bit different uh, style he's a super high rev rate a little bit higher speed than me so i think it's a good thing to show you guys a little bit of differences between his game and my game with this uber strong ball so basically in the moment i felt like i didn't really match up with the ball but going back and watching the footage and having a couple days here of just being able to re-watch this footage, what I'm noticing is that the bowling ball actually looked pretty good when I could keep it in the oil from a little bit straighter or if I kept it in the oil from even from a little bit further deep. When I really got in trouble, as you guys can see um, during shots of this footage, is that when me or Chris got this ball going right quick into the friction, it had absolutely no chance. This supernova is just entirely way too strong to be trying to create all these huge angles on a high friction environment. This bowling ball produces enough friction on its own, and it doesn't need you to throw it into the friction on a typical house shot like we're bowling on right now. So I think that a bowling ball like this would be a very good option 
on the fresh, like I said earlier on in this video, or anytime that you need to keep it in the oil. So go ahead guys and let me know if you guys wanna see Chris featured in more of these videos, and I'm definitely gonna to try to go ahead and make that happen. Him and I have a close enough fit that he can just pop his interchangeable thumb into mine and keep it going. Sorry about those audio issues. My uh, my microphone died and I didn't realize it until it was significantly all just way too late. So hopefully that voiceover work wasn't all too bad. But basically what I saw from this supernova is that it's just entirely way too strong for me on the house. The cover is way too strong, way too much friction here at South Point. Not nearly enough oil. I was pulling on something with significantly more volume and less friction, I think that it would be a pretty good bump. Because the bump already, the friction's already built in. I don't need the extra friction. And then you guys saw Chris throw a couple shots there at the end. Uh, super high rev rate, completely different game than mine. And uh, what did you see? Uh, yeah, with the, the rev rate I have, it got down and it broke so fast. 40 feet down the lane, there was just nothing left. I felt like it used it all up. Yeah, no. it, was, it used it all up in the beginning and it was just done. If I, if I slowed it down, it was better, but with my ball speed and rev rate, So if, if we're talking on a house shot, I think that if you're a speed dominant player or someone with a lower rev rate, I think that this could be a fantastic option for you. I'm not one of those people that says bowling balls are good or bad. They're tools. And the situation that we found ourselves in today required a tool that was significantly weaker than this. All right? Yeah, that's so guys, thank you so much for joining me in this review. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see Chris in maybe some more videos because he fits my ball and then we made a thumb for him. So if you guys want to see him in some more videos, let me know and we'll make it happen. Yeah. Be famous. Just like you. No. <laughs> like Luke. Yeah, right. So click uh, over here somewhere to watch another one of my videos. Click over here somewhere to subscribe. Till next time.